Welcome back to The Breakfast. And uh, just before we hit 9 a.m. this morning, we have another very interesting conversation. We've invited our in-house chat box uh, to share thoughts on what is trending across the country this morning. There's a segment of The Breakfast where we bring you the biggest stories driving the conversation on social media. And we'll say good morning to Bookie November. Hi, good morning. Good to see you. Same here. So quickly, let's talk about, you know, what, what has been going on lately. Mm. Okay, so... Um there's been the panel review, of course, the uh, sorry, <laughs> budget review panel with the House of Representatives, and um, that kind of that has generated se several reactions on social media. But it wasn't like everything generally. It was the part where the IGP spoke about the budget he would require to run to effectively run the police in the country for 2021. Um, so let me quickly read the part of the conversation. Um, he says. Oh, yes, it says that, um, as reported by the Vanguard, of course, that daily fuel consumption for our vehicles, that's the petrol engine, will take about 22.5 billion naira to fuel within a year. Motorcycles we have, it will require 8, 83, no, 834.4 million naira to fuel, and those vehicles using diesel will require up to about 1.4 billion. So fueling alone will take about 24.8 billion naira and then social media went ballistic because the conversation online like i was saying earlier was it was centered around three things first off so these people actually have a budget a budget for, for these things for these things then how do you account for the effective usage of that budget how do you account for the fact that they actually spent the entire budget or whatever it is they, they've allocated to that for petrol for example how do you account for the fact that it was spent on petrol one and then secondly people are asking online will this curb the excesses of these policemen because from the from most of the encounters they've had with them they always ask people not even ask they demand that people give them money for fuel in fact as you will see in some of the comments one person actually said that he had he went to the police station and then they asked him it's all verified of course but he said that that they asked him to buy notebook and Bayrou to write his statement. And then after buying it, they asked him for 2,500 naira to buy fuel, to be able to attend to him. So people are asking, okay, first off, how do you account for the money spent? Was it actually spent of it? And then will it stop them from asking people to give them money for fuel when they go, when they have issues with, um, or reasons to be at the police station? Yeah. So that basically was what generated conversation online. Um, so let me take some of the comments. Okay, before mine. <laughs> First off is Abaya Miti Moti, and he says, let me put it like this. Instead of, um, instead of earmarking money for them, why not get them something like a total card? And somebody also suggested the NNPC card. Um, and car trackers embedded in the vehicle, which, or with this, it will be easier to trace the movements and the fuel consumption rate will also be well monitored. And to that, actually... I think that is smart because then you just take your card, you buy, and then you don't have to exchange cash and then accountability. And this also comes down to the part of the conversation where you say people don't trust the process anymore. They feel, many people feel like when it comes to politics in Nigeria, when it comes to governance in Nigeria, people are just looking for ways to get money for themselves. You know, to, to just get rich. So they don't trust the process. There's no accountability is one of the problems that we have in this country. And that's what they emphasized in this, um, while, while this conversation was going on online. How do we account for this money spent? You call billions. Some people don't, they've never, <laughs> when you say billions, it sounds like small money, but it's actually a lot of money. It's not millions, it's billions of Naira. How do you account for using those funds? Then um, this person, his, his name is Mahmoud. He says, it's a disgrace that the police hierarchy disburses only 34,000 Naira monthly, or as monthly running costs for each police, post in the country. The, um, they must ensure that the budgeted, the budgeted and approved amount trickles down to allow the NPF do their jobs unhindered. Of course, this is unverified information, but then what he's trying to say is, even if you, are, look, if you, but if you have this huge budget, how much gets down to every, every um, aspect of the police force? Do they actually see this money or is it just audio money? Yeah, and then Azuka goes on to say, sure, if this much will be used for fueling vehicles and motorcycles, how much will be budgeted for upgrading police facilities and training? 
If approved, I hope we will no longer see rickety police vehicles on the road, actually. It was not too long ago that he took one out of, you know, Agogi in Lekki. Mm. There was one that was parked there, branded police vehicle. It looked horrible. So this person is actually saying that, fine, I hope this in this allocation you also have a budget for getting police vehicles. I mean, some time ago I heard that they were asking people to donate um, things like vehicles to, and other things to support the police force. Well, from this budget, it's only smart or it's only wise to also have a, an aspect of the budget or a, a part of the budget allocated for buying these vehicles or for fixing the ones that have gone bad. Because yeah. sometimes, you, if there was a high-speed chase in this country, you see those police vehicles that oh. chase them? <laughs> I mean, come so, on. So, so, <laughs> Fast and furious things, man. <laughs> so, so, I, 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 you have more comments to read, or can I just um, quickly... Uh, okay, I think that's about it, though. Yeah, okay, just so, three so, um some of the things you know that I've picked out of here, we, we had a conversation earlier about you know the police and funding. You know, so I'm all for, I personally am all for more funding for the police. I'm all you know 100% for giving the police more money to do their job. Mm -hmm. But um, it would never, you know, I would always, you know, as a Nigerian and as a person, have to ask myself, you know, is anybody who's keeping account for the money that has been in the police budget in the last couple of years? Mm -hmm. Because now that we've established that there is money provided for these things, how has it been spent in the last, you know, four or five years? How has, where has the, all the money for petrol been going in the last four or five years? Because mm -hmm. we have police officers not been able to do their job, not being able to, you know, carry investigations because, you know, they don't have uh, petrol funding. in their in their vehicles. Look at the vehicles that our police officers use. It also makes me remember the conversation about state policing because you would also look across states in the country and realize that some of these police officers in these cars mm -hmm. that you see police officers driving are bought by the states. Yes. Inugu State had one of the most beautiful police you know, um, um, officers' vehicles. It was a Kia Rio, I believe, wow. um, a couple of years ago, and it was flooded all across the state um, with these vehicles. Uh, prior to that, I think the, um, Governor Sullivan Chimmy bought some other vehicles, but it was interesting seeing the police drive around mm -hmm. in these cars, and it definitely helped their, their work. So it brings back a conversation about state police. Why can't we make, you know, um, um, approve, you know, to actually have state police? Let the, the states fund their police force. Let them buy these vehicles. Let them build, you know, um, infrastructure for them. Let them buy equipment for them if, if uh, necessary. Um, and look at what happens with, um, for example, when the Black Lives Matter protest was happening. The conversations were totally different there with the LAPD. If you listen to the Commission of Inquiry and the conversations then, you would realize that the funding for the police actually goes into the police. Wow. They buy equipment for you know for themselves. You know with these. I funds. mean, the, the the conversation around the Nigerian police is a long and it's tiring a, it's, it's, it's a, one that we must continue to have until there is some sort of you well, know certainly. sanity in the whole system. Thank you very much, you, you, uh, Cookie. Is there something more you want to share with us? Um, no, just one, one more thing before, before I go. I think part of the budget should also be allocated to helping them look good. And by look good, I mean their outfits. Appearance. The appearance. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure these things are part of the, the, the funds that are It's just wrong to see a policeman wearing slippers. Come on now. But I, mean, I mean, this is It, is, it is crazy how we as Nigerians <laughs> see well-dressed policemen and we're excited. Like, you oh, can't so like, <laughs> yes, I am excited oh, when I so see good. you. You look so like, good. No, look I, I, it doesn't officer. matter where I see you. I'll walk up to you to tell you you look good because it's not something we see every shouldn't day. Shouldn't that be normal? <laughs> wow. True, true. All really right, thank you so normal. much, Buki, for coming on the thank breakfast this morning. Thank Your you. time is appreciated. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.